hello today guys and welcome back to my channel uh, we discuss basically about rabbit farming here and we gave you educated tips on how to go about farming rabbit and so that you can be able to get some profit and um, when you are in also interested in just getting rabbit tips for your bunny at home we do that here as well and this is the reason why if you first come across up please do diligent by subscribing to this channel don't forget to hit the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever we come up with new video on this channel we don't disappoint that just the reality interestingly we are in december and this is our december video this video happens to be the second to the last video for this year 2023 2023 has been such a challenging year for all as a farmer because we created a lot of things here and it was also a bit of struggle for us here at First Library Rabbit Farm. But here we stand in, we are gradually climbing in the year successfully by having a very good setup and improving on all of our management sectors that we can be able to be on path with other international farmer as you can see in the background we now have a blue field and that's all about beauty because when you are on the process of rabbit farming you have to always make sure to convince the rabbit that they are in a better hands that they will love you they will be able to be impressed with the kind of things they see happening around them and that's what we're doing here to be able to have the rabbit kids in a very safe position the reason for which I came up with this video, I experienced something I've really seen last night. It's so horrible when my honey gave breath. And so terribly, this savage predator came and just devoured one of my bonus kids and leave one severely injured. And the most frustrating part about this occurrence is that I was like sitting outside next door. This is what I do here at First Liberal Rabbit Farm. I don't allow my bunnies to give breath in the bars, that is in the, the cage. I don't allow my rabbit to give breath there. What I do is that I take my bunny when, when I meet them, that is from when I'm sure that they have met, that is breathe along with the back. I can't like, I do my record. Yeah, I do my recording both in my phone and in a notepad. So yeah, I do it in those two places because anytime my phone could be missing or it could get spoiled, but then in the notepad, I will be able to recover everything. And that's what I do here. And so when the bunny gave breath, uh, the case, there were four kids she gave birth to, and uh, I, yesterday morning, yeah, so what I did, I said, okay, fine, then I'm going to look at this whole thing, so I'm not really going to, I'm going to go to job, but I'm just going to, you know, put in on the skills that I have an emergency back home, and I got to really work on it. I think you can see from the illustration here in this video. I lost my bonus to a savage predator when I was sitting right to the door outside contemplating whether my bunny will sleep along with the kids or find a best era for them. The reason for which I like to share my experience to other farmers out there it is because somebody just have to pay the price. This can be so heartbreaking, honestly, to see your bonus just go down the dream and uh, you spend like good 30 days waiting to see success and now it did happens and watching it to just go in a kind of a horrific form and manner is something that is so heartbreaking in the area of rabbit farming. And that's why you see here, I always like to put measure in place to make sure that when I experience some disaster at my at my rabbit here, it gave me a clear insight to, you know, set another line that I can be able to work on and make sure that what happened negatively should no repeat itself. So, the next thing I want to tell you is that the young bunny case got so many predators that can attack them and one of the predators that can always attack young pony kids is the savage predator that took 
the life of this man Boni. The long more right. I don't know the long more right. It's very, very fast moving when your Boni gave breath. So that's why I did this video. So apart from the long more right, cut. Cut can also be on a very swift move when you have bonies that you are raising them do not allow cat to be around them even though they are not friendly but i'm working tirelessly uh trying to bring out some footage in the future where i will see cat and a rabbit going along right here at first labrador rabbit farm because the reason for which i want to do that i want to really know whether cat and rabbit will really go along like what I can see on Amazon videos. But cat and rabbit, they can really spark. In fact, it can jump on it straight for prey. And that's why I like to tell you, my people out there that are involved into the process, do not make it your hobby to expose your bunnies to cat. Not to talk about the young bunny kids to cat. And another predator that you could see that could be so terrible when it comes to bony kids is the rooster. The single hit of the rooster pick up on the baby ponies, that is the bony kids, they will surely die because the force from that pig up is very, very strong enough. And these are things that you have to take into consideration. When you are farming rabbit because if you don't protect the babies you might not be talking about profit or you might even be giving up because you'll be looking at your energy going in a way that you don't really want it to be but here you are you don't have no control because some kind of thing is just coming overnight to take away your high end energy and time not only you but also the bunny that took that kids in a better for good 30 days before giving breath so it can be so heartbreaking it can be so so devastating for me sometimes it can be really hard for me to handle it and there's a point my little daughter can like kind of just look at me and say ah what do you just tie your faith for now but baby don't you know that i lost one of my bonnie kids and oh uh, and this is something that is very very terrible because i need them I need them. People out there in the world needs them. So they should not die mysteriously. They should be able to survive. Okay? In fact, it's the essence for which we are in we are here. Then we're watching them to die. So sometimes she just like kind of gave me the courage. She said, but I mistake, man. You know, women, women always have swift move to to find a, a resting point. And that's what my little daughter always do around here. In fact, she's happy as well. She's doing immensely. She's doing great. Along with my little board promise. They are here helping me up into this process. So guys, if you first come here across us, this is the first library of rabbit farm. We discuss basically here about rabbit farming. We give you educative and informative tip about rabbit farming. What you need to do to your rabbit. When you, once you engage into the area of rabbit farming, rest assured that it has already gave you a basic meaning of life just the truth rabbit gave you the basic meaning of life the basic meaning of life is to always be busy is to always create business and now i like to tell some people that god purpose for our life is to do business rabbit make me to do that rabbit make me to say this because if you are into the process you can see the kind of uh, enjoyment it takes waking up from bed every morning to go have an encounter with adorable pets Oh, what a blessing. That is that is something that can really make my heart to be so, so cool. Very early in the morning, 5 o'clock when I'm on my bed, on my smartphone, glancing at those cute-looking ponies. And once I take my shower, boom, I'm bouncing to encounter the live animal. Live animal. And one of the unique things about this venture also, I can eat the rabbit for meat and I can use their waste for my gardening. And this is something 
that is so so beneficial to farmers so guys when you are into the process of rabbit farming i don't see you struggling for certain certain things when you are into the field of agriculture